And good morning to all of you guys out there. How you doing today? I'm doing quite well myself. I'm feeling a bit better. I actually found a YouTube channel today of somebody. Um, and he actually made me a bit happy. Really cool young buck. He, uh, young YouTuber. Very young YouTuber. You guys know how I love to bake every winter. I tell you about how I love to bake cookies and all that. Well, this guy, this kid, he's, he's like a child after my own heart. I love it. Anyways, guys, let's get started with this weekend's LPs of Betrayer and the Dark Eye Chains of Satinov. For right now, this is our first episode of the Dark Eye Chains of Satinov. Let's hop into this game and let's get rolling. Let's see what we got here. So last episode, let's see here. We got the, uh, we found the location of, we, last episode we got the ring. Yeah, we got the magical ring. And it looks like we got to leave. I don't know where we're at. Oh, listen to that music. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Mm-hmm. Not responding. What the hell else is new? All right. So we just got the ring, and it's time for us to leave. Ah. Alright, so we got the uh, exit the hidden chamber and the academy. Go back to Gwynling's house. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. I was actually thinking we'd have to go talk to somebody, but uh. That's sad. That's Olgird's friend, Ulfried. The Raven will have to pay for every single dead body. Is there anything on this screen? No. All right, let's just keep moving. <laughs> this is pretty cool. I like this. This is interesting. All right, here we go. So we got to go to Gwynlin's house, up the stairs, and examine the painting. What's written here? The print is so small. Use the magic glass on the painting, Raven's Peak. Aha! What's written here? Pull your magnifying glass out. There you go. Raven's, Raven's Peak? What does that mean? Hmm. Sure it doesn't mean Raven's Beak? Can we take the painting? I must find the harp. I'm certain the seer keeps her captive there. Okay, okay, okay. If that's where uh, our girl is, you know, Nori, we gotta go rescue Nori. You know, Nori, she's a cute little fairy. We gotta go rescue her. He fell in love with her. So check the books out. Read all four books. What bookshelves? It's exactly where it should be. Huh? You use them. Oh, oh, okay. Now we get to go back to the Magical Academy. Like, I didn't. Okay, that makes sense. All right, um, let's keep going. <laughs> very good morning. Very, very, very. Okay. Ah, I see a staircase. I remember last time we had trouble with that. 
Why does this place look like a dump? Learn about the transmigration in Ars Magica and the <laughs> location of Raven's Peak. Alright, Ars Magica. Raven's Peak. Raven's Peak? Raven's Peak? Damn. There must be something to be found somewhere. Perhaps on a different shelf. Hmm. The fairy scholar has all the records concerning that matter. Okay, let's keep reading these. Ah, look here. In order to be safe from the magic of the fairies, paint the head of a piglet on your door. If only <laughs> I had known that earlier. Oh, that's... Perhaps I can find something about the... Don't bother. I've already rummaged through the whole shelf. Magistra Dorota didn't leave anything else. Okay, and transmigration. Here's something about transmigration. It is said about dark druids that they can exchange their soul with that of an animal or even a human. Then they migrate from soul to soul and thus live many a year ah. until their own soul goes to the unnamed. Some fairy folk are also said to have this talent, but those just do it for pleasure and so they play a joyful game with it. That is very interesting. Okay, what about the Historia? What's very interesting, guys, is this. The, uh... As soon as he mentioned the Druids, the first thing that came to my mind was, uh... The, uh, Celtic origins, because... You figure... I... You might as well just say that I'm 100% European. I got German, I got Irish, I got Welsh... Um, Celt, I got all kinds of, I mean, Irish, Scots, I got all kinds of, uh, different DNA running through my veins along with Italian. <laughs> but I love Italian food more than any other food out there. Can't, I can't go wrong with that. Who doesn't love a good pizza pie? Alright, so let's keep looking here. So, Andergast. Why Andergast will prevail. May Andergast shine bright. <sighs> Ephedon the First. There's the story about how he set forth with the heroes to challenge the seer 13 years ago, but he was wounded on the journey and had to be left behind. Okay. The 13th war against Nostria, the 14th war against Nostria. I don't have that much time. <laughs> sure we do. Raven's Peak, Raven's Peak. There's something about a battle near the castle of Raven's Peak, but Ooh. not a word about where this castle is. There's a note about the seer. Regrettable is his death considering the lost chance to observe the magic. How did he gather his knowledge of the future? Was he a druid or even a warlock? He seemed to use the power of fairy magic, too. The examination of his remains did not reveal anything of value. Mmm, perhaps that's why he wants Nori. So that he could use her magic. He must perform some type of ritual which takes a fairy's magic from her. Oh, that's ma that's sad. Alright, the, uh, Geographia. Um, uh, Raven's Pit. Let's start with this one. Hundreds of books about Andergast, and one about Nostria. Okay, fairy worlds. About fairy worlds. Mighty strange to behold are the creatures of the other worlds, for it is reported that it is hard to tell if they walk on two legs, or if they're animal or plant, or hermetic noses. Hmm. About Nostria. As flat and ugly as a place is the kingdom of Nostria. The common Nostrian angles in brackish ponds for salterelles. I know all that already. Raven's Peak, Raven's Peak. Here, 
the mountain raven's peak in the stone oak forest. And on this page, Ooh. magician Dorota has drawn the way to the magic harp. Excellent. Whoa. Okay, um... I wasn't done reading the books, but okay. We have to talk. The Seer's Artifact. Look, Giacomo, the Seer's Ring. By all the stars. In the meantime, I've read through more of the Magician's analysis. Do you know what exactly the thing does now? Zinda, have mercy on me. It really seems to swap the souls of two living beings. It's important to have a focus. The artifact has to be equipped with a part of the target's body. The Raven's Feather! From my dream! That's right. The target must be near the artifact too. How does it engage the magic? If you speak the word, the magic of the ring is engaged immediately. Alas, this says its magic is spent for the most part already. What does that mean? It can only be used once more. Okay, um... One moment, buddy. Who's Magister Oakward? The Vice-Chancellor of the Academy. Keeper of the Seer's Ring. He's locked himself in his study for days. You'll find the chamber right next to the stairs in the hall. But he has locked the door using magic. I don't even know if he's still alive. Ouch. Alright, what about the soul exchange? Do you know how an exchange of souls can be done? That's a difficult question. The answer to which is hidden between heaven and earth. Please, Giacomo, explain it to me as simply as you can. Yeah, well, seriously. All right. Every being has a magical element along with its physical existence. The astral body, concealed deep within, lies our soul, purportedly. With powerful magic, it might be possible to open up the astral bodies of two living beings and exchange their souls. So the seer wants the artifact in order to get back into a human body? One would imagine, yes. Perhaps even the king's body? What are you saying? Ah, just a thought. The seer is still captured in the raven's body. And what did Gwynling used to say? To catch a bird, you need two things. A proper net <laughs> and the right bait. Wait! This is dangerous. Why? If the seer is so desperate for the ring, he might drop his guard. Or we'll let him get his hands on the artifact and do exactly what we originally planned to avert. Do you think you're telling me something I don't know? But we are not the future's slaves, and I don't see any alternative. Mm -hmm. Alright, focus. What exactly can be used as a focus? You will need an actual part of the target's body. Hair, fingernails, blood. That associates the ring with the target person. Blood magic. The body part has to be conjoined with the artifact. Touch it, as it were. All right, um... Ask Jekamon about the focus. The focus has to be an actual part hair. Okay, when artifact is bait. How to exchange the magical word. Do you know how an exchange of souls can be? That's a diff. Please, Jack. Well, every being can see the power. This. One would imagine. Perhaps he. What are you? Ah. Okay, change magical word. Would it be possible to change the ring's magic word? You mean the trigger? Why do you ask? We could render the ring useless to the seer and use it as bait instead. Interesting thought. The analysis of the magicians say that this is possible. Cool. The original word has to be recited backwards, followed immediately by the new word to be implemented. Have the magicians had any luck with this? I'm afraid not. They never found out the seer's word. Savrock. <laughs> Ask about... Cor Corvus. In my dream, the seer mumbled one word when he changed souls. Try to remember it. It was Corvus. Formidable. Now we can prepare the ring with our own magic word. Ah. 
Um. Ask about Corvus Select Satmov as the new magic word. What magic word shall we choose? It shouldn't be too personal a word, or else the seer will guess it. It shouldn't be too complicated so that we ourselves won't forget it. At best, it should be something that is uttered easily, but at the same time, something the seer doesn't expect from you. How about Satinav? That is a very good choice. Satinav, it shall be. Hmm. All right. Dreamweaver's Harp. Let's ask him about that. I discovered the Dreamweaver's Harp in Nuri's world. The Dreamweaver's Harp? Oh, I mustn't be jealous. Tell me about it. What did it do? It helps to challenge evil dreams and overcome them. But for the Queen it brought dark dreams too. Dark dreams of the future. Why, is that enough? I'm sensing the horrendous. The Seer's Harp summons the crows. And those bring dark visions to us humans. Dark and dangerous fairy power. Shadows are cast upon my life's work. Alright, the Seer's Artifact. What do you know about this artifact? What exactly do you want to know? Ah, uh, nothing. Other subject. About something else. About I'll quit. be back soon. Um... Automatically not shown. All right, let's do something here. Garon travels outside the cave. Garon says farewell. We have to talk. Okay. Um, departure. I'm ready to go to the Raven's Peak to free Nuri. I'll bait the Raven with the artifact he so desperately wants. Then I'll kill him or flee with Nuri. I don't know, Garon. Certainly it is useless to him without the new magic word, but how do you want to set the trap for him? He is a raven. I am a bird catcher. I'll come up with something. <laughs> I'd like to have your self-confidence. So, this is goodbye then. May the stars of the worlds and all the fairies' luck be with you. Farewell. Farewell, and keep away from the harp strings. Touching them destroys the human spirit. Thanks for your help, Giacomo. Ah, uh, it's an automatic travel. Cool. Let's watch this. They say time heals all wounds. Even its own. But Geron's time had almost entirely run out. Fate. Destiny. Doom. He didn't bother with such thoughts anymore. The end of his journey lay before him. This is a very interesting and relaxing game. I enjoy it. I'd better lay low. Oh yeah, you better lay low. Um, Look around, see the seer's creatures. The raven statue is surrounded by sacrifice knight and several... There's a catapult left. Go to the top of the steps and see a large catapult. That's this right here. The stronghold didn't resist the siege machines for long. Alright. Can you get up there at least? have been dead for long. This is a knight's horse. The foreleg is branded with the oak of Andergast. Uh-oh. That's not good. <sighs> Watch it, dude. Seriously. Completely frozen. Okay, um... Use the flintstone and tinder. Ah, let's melt this baby. Oh, we lost everything. Very good. The ice is coming off. Now it should be working. Now it should be working. 
All right. Um, let me see here. Do we put the projectile inside of this thing? No. Without a bolted lever locked into the cogwheel, I can crank all I want. Get a lock lever. Go back down, see another catapult at left. Distract the creatures by using a dissemble. It can't have been dead for long. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. There you go, go back down. Um... Go back down and see another catapult at left. No, 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 dude, stay in there. Um, yell disassemble. Hey, distract the creatures by using the uh, disassemble spell on the raven statue. The ice around the statue cracks. Go back down, see another cut. Distract the creatures by using on the raven statue. Where do you see a raven statue at? I don't know. Hey, we got a catapult, we got creatures, we got sacrificial animals and pale knights. Statue of Raven. This is for you, Raven. Ooh. Are these guys that stupid? <laughs> Alright, take the lever and go back up to the large catapult. Let's do this. <laughs> it's time for a distraction. Okay, let's see here. Lever. The lever goes with this cogwheel. Okay. Arm use the lever on the mechanism, use the winch and it lowers the arm. Oh, this ought to be interesting. Okay, so Sephiron will understand. This piece of skin should suffice. Alright, let me see here. Do we take the horse's hide and predict? Nope. Okay. Um, let's see here. Um, use a projectile from the ground and place it in the sling. Unfortunately, the sling is missing. Wait a second. Ah, uh, okay, 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 okay. Um, horses hide and chains. These will have to do for one single shot. Okay. Use a lever to give Garon an experience he wanted. Hear screams. I always wanted to do that. <laughs> <laughs> and see if the ice is cracked and the stat creature and statues are gone. Take oh, come on. Don't, no spoilers. Let me go down. <laughs> Let's go see what happened. <laughs> yeah, I think we dealt with them.
Take the broken sacrificial pole top left in a circle. Alright, it looks like we're, uh, is there nothing else? Impaled Knight. No one is ever going to sacrifice to you ever again, Seer. I want to look around. No one is ever going to sacrifice to you ever again, Seer. Are you kidding me? Is that the best you can come up with? No Stop. one is ever going to sac- Okay, whatever. Go in the cave. <laughs> Uh-oh, we're in the lion's den, guys. Ooh. Right, we got crows, we got a harp. Oh, okay. Nori is playing the harp. See a pile of rubble by Garon's feet. All right, enter the tunnel, look around. See a pile of rubble by Aaron's feet. I don't even want to know what's buried there. All right, at the far right. All right, all right, so this is telling us right here. Enter the tunnel, look around. See a pile of rubble by Garon's feet. The ark below has black birds guarding the entrance. At the far middle is the harp with Nori playing at it. This horrible humming, my mind can't take it for long, but I have to push on. Nuri, she's still alive. Oh, she's chilling right there, okay. Go back to the pile of rubble at left and fix the broken sacrificial pole with the reassemble magic. Crows, the harp, the rubble. Alright, so... Ah, okay, I see, I see, I see. Nuri, I'm coming, and then the raven will decorate this pole. Use this on that pile of rubble. On that pile of rocks, pretty much. All right, um, give me this. I don't even want to know what's buried there. The reassemble magic is to use the sacrificial pole on the pile of rubble. Place the horse meat on the pole, the crows will fly to the meat. Enter the tunnel, look around, see if... Remove her. Go back to the pile of rubble at left. Fix a broken statue with the reassemble magic and get sacrificed. Place the horse meat on the pole of the flock. Crows will fly to it. That's all these birds. Okay. They guard the entrance of the cave. What's this? A grave? Combine this with horse meat. Did we miss something? Did we seriously miss something? Here, go out, get up there. Ah, me. It can't okay. have been dead for long. It can't have been. Could you pick up the meat already?
Oh, that's just hideous. I don't need any more. Yeah, let's go. Come on. Hope you guys are enjoying this episode. It's kind of fun. I like, I'm enjoying it. Okay, so take this and this. Time to feed the crows. Oh wow, go enter the cave already. Nuri! Alright, um, where's our character at? Ah, uh, here he is. Let go of me! Out of reach. How am I supposed to reach that? Already broken. Doesn't break. I can't reach it. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, um... Garon picks up the rib. Let go of me! My arm is too short. Alright, you should... On the ice go a rib rolls down to Garon. Garon picks up the rib. Ah! Oh, he picked it up! I can't reach it. Got it. Use the knife on the creature. Hey, right, use the knife. This is for you, meat fly. <laughs> well, that was no. different. Where do you think you're going? Are you so blinded by love that you can't even stop to pick anything up? Nuri! Nuri! Who are you? Who am I? <laughs> like, are you kidding me? Okay, Garon goes to Nori. Talk to, uh... Nori, in the future, Raven flies in. Nori and the Harper want. It's me. Stop playing. Can't you see me? It's me, Garon. Garon? The Harper's called you here, like the Birdman said. Yes. I wanted to paint a green sky for you, but the sounds of the heart make every color black. I... I'll take you away from here. Somehow. Alright, um... What the world? Don't bother, bird catcher. There is no salvation. Nori and the harp are one. Seer. Yes. It's a shame that I am who I am. That I see what I see. And that I have to do what has to be done. You are asking for sympathy? <laughs> I am not heartless, Night Hare. I'm just taking what was meant to be mine. And what, pray tell, is that? I was once promised eternal life, but all I got was the prospect of a painful death. But this cannot be my fate. 
The gods have one more task for me to fulfill. There is a reason why I was blessed with the gift of second sight. That's why I mustn't die. But die is what you will do. I'll yeah. pluck you and then stuff you. Think about your next step wisely, bird catcher. It doesn't have to end here. Don't Can't you understand? To a bird. Nuri is just the fabric your dreams are made of. The magic bird that vanishes as soon as you reach for it. Down there, real life is waiting for you. The herb girl will give you many children. Children that no fairy would have ever born for you. What do you say? Don't you want to give me anything in exchange for that? Uh, Did you bring no. what belongs to me? Give me the artifact, and I'll let you go. Um, alright. Qu find another way. Raven has seen the future girl and will give the ring to the seer. No Quit the dialogue and talk to Nori. Nori. The artifact? Give it to me! No, I want you to talk to Nori. Alright, uh, quit the dialogue and talk to... Raven is... Garon will give the ring to the seer. Quit the dialogue and talk to Nori completely. Nori! Don't give up, Nuri! Cheer up! You'll be free soon. Then you'll fly, free like a bird, soaring up to the skies. Somehow, somehow I'll get the harp to let you go. But I am the harp, and if I stop playing, everything will break apart. I'm sorry I lied to you. I wanted to save you. Don't worry. Imps lie quite often too. And I like imps. Oh, how heartwarming. I have to go now. No, please stay. The Birdman wants you to be alone. No. No. So that I don't distract you. No. I don't want to be alone. I don't want you to I be alone. I played for so long. I wanted you to come here. The Birdman promised me. Use the artifact on Nori's tears. Focus. I'll use Nuri's tears as focus for the artifact. The same way the seer used the feather to project himself into a raven's body. This better be right. Alright. Use the artifact on Nuri's tears. Give the artifact with Nuri's tears to well, a raven. Bird catcher. All right, so we changed the password and we gave it a focus. Let's. Very well. Here, take your crown. Wear it for as long as you live. Rah! 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 And now, you never meant to let me go, right? Be mad at the gods, Nighthair, not me. Every lot they foist upon us seems so unfair, doesn't it? Free but my fairy. But what do your woes or those of a fairy mean compared to all the lives I could save? Yeah. 
Lonely bird. Boron will take even the lives you temporarily save eventually, and being immortal will make you bitter. Time will flow thick like glue, and for one tiny moment you will let down your guard. That's when the Keeper of Time will punish you. The Keeper of Time? The Thirteen Horned. The Chained Giant. Do you still not understand, Birdcatcher? The Thirteen Horned has no dominion over me. There hmm. is no Keeper of Time. There is no Sartinaf. What the hell? You did not just change souls with my bird, with my fairy. What just happened? sleep again oh he swapped souls with nori so nori lives inside the uh fit bird now achievement unlocked a real adventure well dead Oak entertainment this is from me to you very great game i thoroughly enjoyed this and i'll be looking forward to be playing more games like this on the weekends and I hope you guys you know leave some comments leave some likes below you know swing by uh, Delic Entertainment give them some thumbs up give them some support these guys they evidently put an awesome job into the game itself and wow I didn't know this was the end of the game already we can officially close this thing right here Let's move this over and let me do something here. And that looks like the end. Wow. Well, guys. <laughs> Give me a moment here. There we goes. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this game. It was very interesting. And my afterthoughts of it is I love the ending. Really, I did. Hope you guys got to enjoy this as much as I have in playing it. Um, I don't know. We'll see what we play tomorrow. Until next time, take care. Have yourself a wonderful day. And I'm out of here. Later.